Welcome to this look at a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm here on Bucks County, Pennsylvania by TNT Modding. That's right, TNT Modding is back and back with a bang. 206.85 megabytes download. What I find fascinating with this map, um, or generally speaking, is when TNT Modding brought out his maps on FS19 and did all the unrealistic capacities and stuff. He got in a lot of trouble from, from, with Giants and was told he had to remove it all from the maps he'd done at Eureka Farms, Bucks County, you know. Um, and you look now and a lot of mods are doing it. So they're back on here with an absolute passion. There is one required mod, that's the root crop storage by Dogface. Um, when you go to load it up, it doesn't automatically download when you download the map, but if you try and load the map in, it will tell you you need it if you want to. As far as mods go then, Honestly, it's crazy. Let's go down to here. Bucks County mods and DLCs. Capacities are in, honestly. So universal bucket, a 100,000 litre bucket. I'm not going to go through all the options on each of them. We've got the Brantner Power Push, 250 up to 340,000 litres. The Appearin 3401, 520,000 litres. Um, <laughs> the Lizard MKS32, 320,000 litres. Distinction Super B, 352,000 litres. 404,000 litres. Combined, 756,000 litres for the Load King Distinction Super B. Uh, the John Deere 1775 NT, uh, 35,240 litres. It will do all crops. So not just a cedar, not just a, everything. It will do everything. Um, we've got 156,000 up to 250,000 litres on our fertiliser and lime spreader for the Braydale K165. The Amazon Cetan 15001, 78,000 litres again, does all crop types. The Bertu Bruin 4200, um, that's 42,000 litres for herbicide or liquid fertiliser. Our X9 harvester, 250,000 litre capacity. And look what it also does. Sugarcane added in there. So it'll do crop, normal crop types that will do. Sugarcane. Uh, we've got the stay going. Now that's 4.9 metres. I'm assuming the weight on that will have been changed. The fact it's modded. So that will compact your um, silage clamps a lot quicker. We've got a 250,000 litre um, top mix ration mixer. The shuttle there, 495,000 litres. And um, that's a... Um, oh, now I'm curious... I wonder whether or not it doesn't say 10 miles an hour on Eureka Farms the forage wagons had a much wider pickup potentially it doesn't say what the pickup is but maybe um, we've got a 4 metre roper header we've got the roper tiger 6s with a 430,000 litre capacity 250,000 litre on the abbey We've got the T560, 250,000 litre capacity, again sugarcane. We've got the Krona Big X1180. Um, I'm not sure what's different on that. Oh, that does that will do sugarcane as well. Okay, does that say wood chips as well? Oh, ah, okay. So, that makes me wonder, if we go to our headers then... That's interesting that the harvesters say they'll do sugar cane, but the headers don't. What about the corn headers? Oh, yeah, there you go. The corn headers, sugar cane. <laughs> Let's check the, for the forage harvesters. Yeah, so it looks like. Yeah, sugar cane on the forage harvesters as well. <laughs> absolutely newts anyway uh, yeah that header for the sugar beet harvester or sugar beet and potato so an absolute load to put in as far as under build mode goes then we have got a couple of buildings oh sorry a building there and just under silos we've got a little bit more we've got a couple of silos there bucks county silos 5,432,000 litres 501,500 uh, the root crop storage is the required mod. There was nothing under silo extensions containers. 
Right, this is where things get interesting as well. So under here, this is normally 27,300 litres. That one, 273,000 litres. That'll do seed and is it mineral feed goes in that. We've got a liquid fertiliser tank, 250,000 litre capacity. Um, fertiliser tank, solid fertiliser, 600,000 litre. It's just added some extra zeros in here and there, you know, as you do. There's nothing under tools or farmhouses. Productions, I don't think there's anything. All sell points, I'm pretty sure there wasn't. It was all standard stuff under productions. Nothing under greenhouses, orchards or generators. Now, animals, I'll talk about that as we go around. There's nothing been added in. I don't think it was under decoration either. Or landscaping, it was all pretty standard. Right, so, that's all that out of the way. We're at the main farm then, right here. As you can see, we've got a lot of equipment. Slot count then. New farmer, 1,778. <laughs> It's up there, but you start with a ton of stuff, and that's all across the map as well. Farm management start from scratch. That slot count comes down to 1,109. Here's the curious thing. You lose all the equipment, all the machinery, all the buildings, fertilizer tanks, silos, everything. And there's various farms around the map we'll get to as well. They will all disappear. What stays are the animal pens, because the animal pens are modded in that they are larger capacities, but they're not available in the build mode to replace. So if you remove them, if you take them away afterwards, you can't get those capacities back again. Each one will hold 500, so just be aware of that, but they will still be here. And um, this farm will look a little bit like this. Cool, so the map looks like this on new farmer we start with all of this here up at the main farm which is where we're starting we've got a sleep trigger just like the road which we'll get to now there's a lot of bits like this where we've got cell points and things now this is the the verges it costs zero it's nothing to buy so when you come onto a farmer manual start from scratch you can still buy those plots that's important because a lot of these there's plenty of space for putting placeables and stuff on there so we get all of that, all of that, plus all of this down here. Now, I don't remember it being like this on the previous version. I also feel this is more wooded than I recall it being before. And this down here is in stark contrast to the rest of the map, which is really picturesque and flowing. But what TNT's done is left all of this down here with the ability to put loads more production chains and placeables. There's loads of extra space. But on New Farmer, you do start with all of that. Field prices aren't too bad either. 40,000. Even a big field like that, 152. That one's fair size. 217. Field price is not horrendous. Um, the vehicle store is there. If you want to buy the plot of land, the vehicle store's on. Again, to a placeable, stuff like that. That'll cost you zero. So there's a whole load going on. I'll show you the rest as we go around the map. Um, there's no extra crop types or anything thrown in. Contracts are available on this map. Um, I couldn't find a biogas plant. That being said, like I said, there's plenty of space down here for placeables and stuff, so putting one in shouldn't be a problem. Um, I have kind of had a look around in places where I thought there might be one and haven't come across one. So, I suppose we should talk about the vehicles and machinery. I won't go through it all, but you'll see it as we go around. But small tractors, medium tractors, large tractors. <laughs> Told you I had a lot of stuff. Trucks, harvesters, forage harvester headers for the very same things loads of trailers we do have that big m450 the bird two rock picker i was just checking to see whether or not no the capacity on that's still standard we've got mulchers cultivators seeders planters fertilizer spreaders bale loaders balers i didn't even see where the balers were um belt systems trailer when we, there's tons of stuff hence 1778 on the slot count but i say that does come right down so as you can see a lot of it is right here actually that's um is that a lime station yeah lime station right next to us you can see bits of equipment scattered around all over the place mulchers winter equipment plows rock picker cultivators cedars harvester headers tanker over the back that's large capacity we have got these are the big silos i was talking about that one's got 60,000 liters in but it will hold 600,000 liters that one's already got and um, that's full actually that's got 173,000 liters of liquid fertilizer and herbicide 
and that one's already got 27,300 but it will do 270,000 if I click on that you'll see I can put a ton more in that as well um, barn to the side here I know I apologize if I might appear to be rattling through this we've got a lot of map to get around as well this is one of those maps there's a few bits it's out and back and it makes the map feel absolutely massive uh, we've got a workshop trigger around the side here at the main farm corn header which will also do sugar cane it's, it's weird. I, I think TNT kind of was pushing the boundaries of it when in IFS 19. It's almost become a little bit kind of, not a bit blasé about it, but that kind of, oh yeah, larger capacities on stuff. We've got loads of trailers now that go to up to 500,000 litres. Um, he kind of was one of the first to do all of that. Now, weirdly, when you come on through on farm management start from scratch, and I said you don't have any of the buildings, any of the machinery, the only piece of equipment you still have is the forage harvester for some reason. You don't have anything else, but the forage harvester is sat here. Curious, I'm not sure why. Tractors all across here. Harvester, let's open the door there. I'm gonna jump in that one. So as you've already seen, we do start with other stuff. So new farmer is kind of a, you know, you've got loads of stuff, just come on, have fun. Number plates on these all go up in order. We get um, FRM 102, 103, 104, it goes all the way up. Each one's got its own number plate. Um, we've got chicken coop over here. Like I said, the animal pens remain in all three game modes. 500 chickens can be put into this one. If you remove it, that's it, it's gone. Trailer, we've got a farmer 800 silo, 800,000 litre, but on new farmer, we start with a load of stuff in it already. 100,000 litres wheat, sorghum, sunflower, soybean, canola, barley. So we do start with a load of crops. Again, remember back in the day, FS 17, 19, some of the maps you'd start and you'd have stuff in your silos. It doesn't tend to happen as much anymore, but you used to. Remember those happy days? Silage clamp, just there. As you can see, we have the Holoras Stego and the Leveller just there. Cow barn, this will do 500 cows as well. Again, remove it at your peril with the cow pasture out to the side. More barn and building space. Fuel tank, that is full. 25,000 litres of fuel. You start with a new farmer. Oh, here we go. That's how grassland work. Mowers, tedders, rollers, windrower, baler. It's all here. It's all here. Like I say, if if that is your thing, then that's fine. Come into a farm and start from scratch. You don't have to start with all this stuff. But it's here to have a, to have a bit of fun if you want to. You know, get on, enjoy the map, play a bit. But you've always got that option not to if you don't want to. So swinging out of the main farm. Apologies if I missed it. Anymore. Sleep trigger is here for the main farm. And there's the little John Deere gator just there. I'm going to go to the farm next door. And then we're going to take a kind of, like I say, a weird route round. As efficient as I can be with it. What I'm going to do when we leave the main farm behind, I'm just going to put some money in because I'm going to need it. We've got some plots of land we need to buy for triggers and things to show up. And that's for the rest of the animals, the horses, the sheep and the pigs, which we'll get to. There's another cow farm as well, which I remember. I've had to put little asterisks and things on my on my notes. So, come up this little lane here. I'll do what I always do. I'll show you on the map where we are, where we've been. So, up into this area here is where we've got root crop storage. We've also got another silo, flat bottom bin just over there. This is where the two augers are that we start with so for the bins that require them we do start with a couple of augers on new farmer now this plot of land here we come from the main farm out past the sleep trigger and around here we're in the northeast of the map so at the moment the two augers are showing but the bins not if you buy this plot of land including that field there 132 grand oh i haven't got enough at the moment have i need to put some in um that flat bottom bin will show up on the map as being available plus you'll be able to open the shed doors a couple of big sheds here so you can have this as another farm if you're doing multiplayer or you want to expand your farm as you go the root crop storages i'm trying to remember what they were um 800,000 litres we've got two of those so you've got one for your potatoes one for your sugar beet if you want 
So what I'm going to do is actually cut across back over to the other farm. Apologies, I've got row crops on, so alright. We're okay. It's the quickest way I could think of getting across here. Probably could have gone out that way, really, but that's alright. Now, if you played on this map on FS19, there's a lot of it that feels very familiar. But like I said, as I was going around, there's a lot of it that feels like it's changed. I know it did have a couple of updates on... Um, on FS19, one being to remove all the unrealistic machinery and equipment and stuff, or the capacities of it anyway. Um, but I, it's a weird one. The bottom half of the map, you'll see when we get down there, feels very different, I think, anyway. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna stop here, I'm gonna put some money in, and then we'll head out east to the next um, cell point, which is, I'm trying to remember it was, Feeding grain south, I think it is. So bear with me just one moment. That should help. So, now east along this road. Like I said, I'll show you where we've been. It'll make more sense overall. But bottom left, I've got the map still open so you can see where we're going as we drive along. There's a lot of points we, we need to get around to. But we have got feeding grain south out here. It's a massive facility. But again, this is part of the, the, the verges, the exterior of the map, which if you do buy it, it costs zero to buy. And you'll see there's plenty of space around it. So for adding in more placeables, production chains, you know, whatever else you want, you might want to put other cell points because there's plenty available in the mod hub. So that's Feeding Grain South cell point. So there's, a, there's quite a few little features there's some interesting little bits and bobs here and there as we go around like I said there's bits like this I remember from when I did the map tour on the previous version it feels very familiar I definitely think there's more trees as well I don't know if that's just me imagining things The lighting feels to me spot on, the uh, colour palette seems to work well, it's not too over bright, it's not too, you know, it just, I don't know, it just seems to work. It's not overly colourful, but again it's not dulled down and muted, which is nice. I'm going to head down here, out to the right just over there, we are going to drive around to it. We've got um, Bucks County Bales, so that's a Bale and bale types, those kind of things, grass, hay, straw, cell point. If we turn just down here. It all feels very organic, it just works. You know, the buildings, the way everything fits in, it flows very nicely as well. So, Bucks County Bales is just here. Again, if you wanted this to be your home point, you can. I don't think there's any parts on the map you can't buy. I was, you know, pretty sure. Like I said, there's a bit, there's, there's a bit out on back here and there. It's just the nature of the map, but it, it does lend itself to feeling very big. A sugar mill to the left-hand side, production chain. Right-hand side, tucked away in that corner, we got a debris crusher. Back out to the main road, heading south. We turn left here. Now, this is one of the features I was talking about. On the field to our right, I think it's plot 39, I think it is. We've got all these stakes in the ground. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder what that's all about. Um, so I thought, oh, okay. I'm pretty sure then if I buy that plot of land, so we've gone out to there, come back along, down there to these bits. We're now here. So this plot here, 39, if I buy that, nothing appears on there. However, if I go into production and go to our orchards, it gives you the posts and stuff already in place for putting in. Let's say you see the post there, went already onto it. All I've got to do is just run up away from it 
and it follows the posts up. So the vineyard's already here. You just need to add your stuff in as you go. That's something a bit different. I know we've we've had vineyards and, and olive orchards on maps before, but not just the stakes that you can kind of add to. I like that. Cereal factory is out to the east along this leg. Just up here, so production chain, cereal factory tucked away out here. Swing around and come back down the hill. Now we've got several mills on the map. Uh, we've got one grain mill, which is the production chain. The other mills on the map are cell points. The first of these is coming up, those silos there, and it's Buck's Mill. Should be coming from the back of here. So I say this is just a cell point, but again. The plot's available for putting um, placeables and stuff on if you want to add other cell points. Oh, blimey, can see where I was going there. There you go, cell points just here. There's plenty of room around it. I think the big difference between this and the previous one as well is the fact that the previous version felt complete. It was done, good to go, the map's here, play on it. This one, I definitely get the feel that with all the stuff down to the south of the map and the fact you've got all these areas now that are open that when you buy them or if, if you don't already own them you can put a lot of placeables and stuff down there's a lot more scope to build from here whereas the previous one felt like it was finished already you could just come on and play this one you've got more scope on top of that as well carpentry just here continuing south Didn't see that car. No! Trees are in the way. I'm alright, I'm good. Nothing rolls like a deer. Oil mill. And then just down here. We've got the second mill cell point. This is the Quaker Mill. So we had Bucks County Mill. Is it just Bucks Mill? Bucks Mill, and this is Quaker Mill. So these are just cell points. And I'll show you on that where we are. So out from the cereal factory, back down past Bucks Mill. Then we took in the carpentry, oil mill, and we're now here at Quaker Mill down the bottom. So eastern side of the map, pretty much done. What I need to do now is remember my route. <laughs> So I'll take it all in. Let's go back up this road. And then we'll take a left. I hope it was, I'm on the right, no, I'm thinking on the right way. We should be okay. So we've got another bale cell point coming up. Yes, is it just me? There, there are more trees, it feels a lot more overgrown. I don't know if it's just the time of year or something, but it just feels more overgrown. Uh, so we've got Davis Hay and Straw, it's just here. Then crossing over, we come to the next farm. So, we've got farm buildings just to the side here now. We've got an NL1622-6000, which is a 6 million litre grain bin. And over there, we've got another cow barn. If you come into a farm manager and start from scratch, none of these buildings are here. The silo's not here, but the cow barn will be. Because like I said, that's 500, and that's not available to replace. So that will be here. So we are currently here. This plot will set you back 50 grand. That's all, 50,870. Buy that, and the trigger comes up. Not cows, I'll say cows, pigs. So, the silo, 
all of this land again you can put a massive farm with loads of stuff on it we've got that building there big old building that hasn't got a workshop in it it's just standard but that will do 500 pigs so this is your pig farm and not too expensive to buy either from here again try to remember the route Mr. CP oh, I love the scenery it's just it's a lovely map left here I know I've been stopping at the stop signs I haven't got time, can't stop I feel like the rabbit in Alice in Wonderland cross over the bridge here take a right here and now we come into the industrial zone So a new farmer, this is all owned, all the land. The buildings aren't, so the production chains and stuff aren't owned, but the land is. On the left-hand side, that is Bucks County Processing. That's a sell point, just to our left. To our left over there, we've got the dairy. That is a production chain. But you see all the open plots here for production chains? So we go back to our map. So we come along there, down here up here and went out at this point so like I say new farmer that's all owned but the dairy you still need to buy although the land is owned if you want to run the dairy as a process you still have to buy it but loads and loads of open space for buildings barns productions whatever you want to put on here I'll stop saying that now because it's obvious now I've said it a few times so continuing on right hand side if we turn up here Uh, we have got South Valley Biomass Energy cell point in here. I did wonder whether the biogas plant was up in here, um, but there's nothing up here for the biogas plant, and it's already owned on New Farmer, so nothing's showing. So cell point for the biomass energy point and plant is here, but again, loads of space. out from here now some of these are interesting in that um, they're not really overly done restaurant on the left hand side which you can kind of tell it's a restaurant but then on the left hand side just here there's not really anything on the building it's not been embellished at all um, that's Smith Taylor's now that's not an actual Taylor's not a production chain that's just a sell point that's a, a like a wool sell point I think you can do cotton there as well on the right hand side that's the pizzeria just behind that building there you wouldn't know unless you looked on the map there's a pizzeria um, left hand side that's the APL transfer company that's the sell point and then left hand side here we've got GD transport warehouse also a sell point so quite a few big not sell points I guess whatever storyline you want to throw in I was starting to panic thinking am I, have I missed um, a load of required mods is there stuff that's supposed to be on those but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be gives you a bit of scope so left hand side grocery marts sell point just through here I'm going to whiz down here now animal dealer is just there which we'll get to in a moment but I nearly missed this when I did my map tour so I'm going to head down the road here this is another farm coming up so I got the other one confused when I said cows and it was pigs this is the cow farm coming up so we do start with the cow farm we've got another one just up here
So again, other than the cows, which are over there, on farm management start from scratch, none of these are here. Farm 800 silo, 25,000 litre fuel tank, shed space, large, oh actually these are standard ones I think. Oh no, 173,500, nope. <laughs> 60,000, 27,300, that is standard. So this plot here, through all the industrial bit here, up past the grocery mart, we've come along here, we're now at this point. So if I put that on, 149,937, not a bad price because you get a bit of land as well. And that gives you that cow barn over there, which is also a 500, just over there. So, back up where we came, we'll go past the animal dealer. I'm racking my brains about the biogas plant, but I'm pretty sure there isn't one. Animal dealer, it's just the right there. That's just an animal dealer, there's not a sell point there. Sometimes we get animal dealer and animal dealer sell point. That is just an animal dealer. On our left hand side, coming up, we have got Bucks County Farmers Market. Just tucked away through there. There you go, Bucks County Farmers Market. If we come across the bridge here, and we'll come back on ourselves in just a second. Just here. We have got the great processing unit tucked away in here. And now we head back inward. So I say, some of this feels very familiar, but I don't remember it being so overgrown. I don't remember there being so many trees. I, I, I felt like to the right was more open. Anyway, to our left, if we come down here, we come to the horse farm. Which at the moment, we hop out. So from there, we came back out, past Animal Dealer, Bucks County Farmers Market. We crossed over there, back around past the Great Processing, and we're now here. So this plot here, 25, buy that. We get the trigger come up for the horses. This will do 16. With some barn and shed space. If we go across the road. We've got a hayloft. And we've got a vehicle workshop trigger just there. So vehicle workshop to the left, hayloft, sorry, to the right, hayloft to the left. We come up to the next farm. Which is just here. Another farm at 800 silo, 800,000 litre. This is the sheep farm. So we've crossed the, crossed the road here. Now this here, the vehicle workshop and the hayloft are all on this plot. This plot, 51, including that field over there. Actually, I think that might be forest. If we buy that, the trigger comes up for sheep. So the silo is there, we've got access to. We can now enter and access and use the sheds. This will do 500 sheep. Again, remove at your own peril. Plenty of space for maypole dancing. Morris dancing, whatever it is like to do, a bit of fencing, I don't know. Back out from here. Do I get a 
gonna take a quick right and then right again. Just here. And we've got the gas station. There. Back out onto the main road to the quick right, and we'll come back on ourselves again in a moment. We've got the tailor shop. Now, this is the production chain tailors that will do fabric. The other one was a sell point. This is the actual production chain. This is our tailor shop. Just here. back out onto the grass. I really do apologise for this, the speed of this, the speed and ferocity of the map tour. But there is a lot on here. So back to the junction coming up, just here. Hairpin and into this yard here. So again on new farm room, uh, on farm management start from scratch, none of these buildings are here, including on new farmer, we start with all of these greenhouses. If we come into here, go down to our production chains, nine large greenhouses. Now often it will show the greenhouses on the map, but you have to buy them. We start with them on new farmer. If we go around, if I open that up, we don't have to purchase it, it's here already. Now we don't own the land yet, we can still buy the land if we want to. If we go to the map and I'll show you where we are. So from the sheep, we went out up to the gas station, tailors, we're now here at this plot. So at the moment we don't own plot 91, but for a mere 36,903 we can buy it. So we own the plot now, that's fine. The greenhouses are still on there, which means we can sell them to whatever we want. But we own them off the start of New Farmer. Now if I come over here a little bit, on farm management start from scratch, they're not here at all none of this is here and it will look like this i know it's crazy isn't it so we do have a water point just there as well from here we are past all the greenhouses we'll cross over the road to the vehicle store Vehicle store still split level as it was previously. The reset point is up here on the top level. So if you need to reset anything, it will reset up here. So there's your trigger for accessing it, or you can do it from your tablet. Come down the hill into there. The vehicle workshop trigger is down the bottom here. And as I said before, this plot of land just over here, this is the vehicle store. You can buy that for zero and then do what you like with it. It's entirely up to you. Continuing on from here. It's lovely open rolling landscape. I think that's what I liked about it the first time I came onto here. We've got a bakery on the right hand side. And then we're going to take a left. It's a little triangle here. Bakery's just there. Back onto the main road. The main farm is just off to our is the traffic coming. Yeah, it's just across that direction. Can't see where I'm going. So we're heading northwest now. Now to the northwest corner of the map. Coming up on the grain mill. So of the three mills. Bucks Mill, Quaker Mill, which are both sell points. This is the actual grain mill. This is the production chain building. So that's your grain mill. There are no collectibles. It doesn't show them in the menu for details. And it doesn't mention them in the description. But in all honesty, if you come onto a new farmer, you start with so much stuff and, and equipment and capacities of things and crops in the silos and seed and fertiliser I don't really think you need to but sometimes it's nice to have them to have a little bit of search around the map but 
there aren't any on here. So, Red Marble Bowling Restaurant. Just to our right. Spinnery. To our right there. And heading back around. For the road, we should come to the sawmill. Which feels like it's still in the same place. Well, I was looking at a house a little. Looking for a hidden biogas plant. So, just the right here, Miller's sawmill. Wood chip point is just there. And your sawmill up on the hillside. This is a standard sawmill. Not a platinum expansion one or anything like that. Standard sawmill just up here for a hundred grand and you can bring your wood and it will do planks. So the map from the greenhouses and the vehicle store up around there to the bakers up there. So I said the main farm was just opposite just over there. Grain mill out up here to red marble bowl spinnery follow the road along sawmill. Um, like I say I can't I can't see anywhere on here where there might be a biogas plant. But anyway, we started there and did that bit. We've come all the way around the map, all the way around the bottom, all the way up here, up back up to here, and now we're here. That's the map. That's Bucks County. PA by TNT Modding. Glad to have you back, mate. Glad to have you back. It's fantastic to have you back. Let's, fingers crossed, plenty more cool stuff to come. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.